It's Jeff Lewis here from Seriously Series and Happy New Year. In this video I'm going to be talking about what we've got planned for 2018 and it is really really exciting. I've been out for a bit of a long walk, about 5,000 k's in fact, but luckily I was able to hitch a ride on a Boeing 737-800 series and I've landed here in Tasmania. The reason why I'm over here is for a couple different reasons, but one of the key reasons is to actually film a new doco or a new series that we're going to be looking at. And it's going to be coming directly to you. And this is called Seriously Series Edge of the Earth. We're going to be embarking on an expedition across Tasmania in this Land Rover Series 3 right here. Now, for me and Damon, Tasmania is actually our stomping ground, so we actually know it pretty well, and we know some real hidden gems. So you're going to be getting a little bit of a sneak peek into a number of areas that you wouldn't find any other way, so it's definitely well worth a watch. Some of the key things we're also looking for 2018 is that we've joined up with Patreon. Now, the reason that we've done this is that, sadly, these things all cost money. And Damon and I both have full-time jobs on the side, and more than ever, we'd love to be able to do this as a full-time profession. And we believe that we've got some really good content out there that's worth paying for. And it's not about giving your life savings away. You can give as little as $1 per video. And with that, it's not going to break the bank balance. Obviously, we've got another series coming out, which will be coming directly to you on Patreon and later on YouTube, called Seriously Series Origin Series. Now, just a little bit about this series. The reason why I've decided to produce this series is because there is so much technology out there on the market today, and there is so many options that you can have or that you can purchase. What are the good ones? What are the bad ones? You could spend a lifetime talking to this camera trying to tell you the ins and outs of it. What I found, and I started off on the other end of the spectrum with patrols and mavericks and modifying them, and then I moved over to the older series Land Rovers. And doing that, I learnt a heck of a lot, more than what I would have learnt probably pursuing the other path. And the key thing that I learnt is going back to basics. Going back to those key principles of what makes something function. Looking at the why, the where, the what and the how. Now sadly today, and I, I do, I go through quite a lot of content of magazines, off-road magazines, uh, off-road content that's out there on YouTube and television, and there just isn't any in-depth look at the actual product or the technology that they're actually serving up for the general public. And it's really, really, frustra uh, really, really frustrating. So they can tell you what it is, they can tell you why you need to buy it because it's bigger and better than your next door neighbours or what your mate's got, but they can't tell you how it's been developed and they can't tell you why it's been developed. So what we're going to be looking at is the key origins, how this technology is actually developed and we're going to be looking at six key pieces of technology. In the first episode, we're going to be looking at the origin of the four-wheel drive vehicle. And we're going to be looking at the first purpose-built off-road vehicle. Why it was developed, how it developed, and over the past hundred years, how it's evolved into the mega market that we've got today, where we're just spoilt for choice. A couple other things we're going to be looking at is the origin of the nut and bolt. Now, that sounds like a really, really bland subject, but it's actually really, really interesting. The thread types, the actual hex head, how that came about, and the impact that it's had on society is absolutely impressive. 
every device that you're watching this video on is held together with at least half a dozen nuts and bolts and if not a thread component of some kind so that says a lot so we're going to be looking at that we're going to be looking at the origin of the tire and how it's been adapted for off-road use we're going to be looking at the origin of the hf radio we're going to be looking at the origin of the winch and we're going to be looking at the origin of the gps and navigation so it's going to be a really really good series and that's going to be brought out on patreon and later that'll be brought to the general public on youtube so be sure to keep an eye out for that one there september of this year is the key date for us as we're going to be finally finishing editing seriously series road to ruin now we've been a little bit closed about this and we haven't said too much because we want to keep it a bit of a surprise for you for when it actually comes out and it will be coming out um, after september we're in negotiations with a few tv and um, also online companies at this stage so that's that's really really exciting so we've got a few series that are going to be coming out this year and there'll be a few additional videos in there too one of the ones that we're going to be starting up which will be a new playlist which won't be going to patreon it'll be going straight to youtube straight for the general public is the be all be all and end all playlist and this is going to be little tricks and hints that we've come across over the years and there's some really really interesting ones and uh, we'll actually be filming one here today so um yeah keep keep an eye out for that you'll get a few smirks and jerks off that one but all this talk about what we've got in store for 2018 when i was thinking about what i was going to be presenting to you guys today it couldn't help but make me reminisce a little bit about where we've come where we've come why we've ended up at this point and where we're going from here and it's it's really interesting um, basically how it came about was um, Damon decided that after he got out of his gap year in the army that he would go into doing film cinematography and Damon bought himself a Defender and I had a my Series 2 Land Rover which was in seriously series heading west which I've still got and we'll make a comeback no doubt in a later series and um, we discussed that one day we should do a television series or we should do a film on Land Rovers and how they've impacted Tasmania and I said that sounds really good and I thought about it a bit and I thought well let's call it something to do with Land Rovers and I thought well it's just going to be about series Land Rovers like series 3 Land Rovers so let's call it seriously series and the name was born and a few other things you know ensued after that and obviously with myself um, things uh, changed quite a bit for me and sadly doing my degree in geology um, it wasn't feasible for me to actually pursue having a career in it here in Tasmania and the only way I could see of getting out of it was actually pushing on to Western Australia and I actually called up Damon one night and I said look I'm looking at driving across Australia I'm not sure if I'm going to take my Ford Maverick or my GQ Patrol or take the Series 2 Land Rover but I've contacted a few magazines and if they come back and they say that they're willing to actually show the story in one of their magazines then we're going to go in the series too and would you be interested and Damon was after a film project anyway it, it didn't take much convincing and 10 minutes later Damon said look if if that's the case let me know and um, we'll make it happen a couple days later I got approached from Land Rover International Land Rover Owners International magazine and um, I think it was Land Rover Monthly was another one and I did I did chat on and off with classic Land Rover but I, I don't think the article was really quite to their liking they're, they're more for dogs high tea and biscuits and cakes and um, we just didn't have enough biscuits and cakes to make a decent article 
But anyway, you know, it's still a very good magazine and I buy it regularly. So, yeah, and the stage was set. And we thought, well, what have we got to do to the series two? And there was a bit of a list and we thought, right, we'll have a month to prepare. And Damon said, let's make a Facebook page. We'll, we'll see how that goes. And within a couple of weeks, we had 5,000 followers, which many of you are still following, which is fantastic. Um, you've been able to see it right from the start. And it's just gone from there. And I'll tell you something, once once I got over to Kalgoorlie and I got set up and settled in, and Damon flew back and the series got produced, we it was it was incredible. We had it performed very well on YouTube, it's still performing very well on YouTube today and will continue so in the future. And one of the real kicks for me was actually waking up one morning and I had my morning coffee and I opened up my monthly edition of Land Rover Owners International and my magazines are there. Now I didn't get paid for it and Lucas Smith he helped out a lot with sort of getting editing it and making it sound a little bit better um, and it was a real kick it was an absolute kick to, to see your journey published in a magazine like you don't have to get paid for it it was just fantastic and to think that we've come from there, we then went last year, we did Seriously Series Road to Ruin, where we tackled the, the last true frontier here in Australia, the Canning Stock Route, in a 1975 Series 3. And we were able to get sponsors for that too, which have helped us out immensely in 2017 and will continue in 2018. And I have to take my hat off to them. And these are, these are ones that are big and small companies such as Tire Plier Engineering, Expedition Centre, we've got ARB in there, we've got um, Toyo Tires, TDA Automotive, um, and many, many more that um, I simply can't list off the top of my head. And we've had so many people help out along the way too, like our assistant cameraman Stevie and uh, Claire, who also stepped in, and out, in as our second camera girl, I guess you would say and um, Rachel Clark and Greg Clark for helping out with the um, initial designing of our new logo and also with a bit of the trip prep and uh, Ben Broder and Shannon Anthony at Goldfields Off Road which really have helped to give ARB a, a brilliant name out there in the Goldfields. So it's, it's interesting looking at where we've come from and 2018 is going to be a very very interesting year. So please stick around and please follow this page, please subscribe to this page and stick around for the journey. I'll catch you later on.